this morning we shall read one passage and in a few minutes will be true after the reading of that one passage Psalm 46 verse 1 Stand up on your feet everywhere you are. I'm going to read verse 1. You read verse 2. All the way to the last. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Verse 2. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Sila. Verse 4. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her and that right early. Verse 6. The hidden rage. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Sila. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Verse 10. And verse 11. Everybody read one to go. The Lord of hosts is, our, is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge sin remain standing he said be still and know that I am God I will be exalted among the heathen I will be made known in this nation I will be known in the earth take your seat one minute it is a charge and it is titled be still and be still mean at least three things for our purpose this morning. Once in a while we come across situations that cause us to be bewildered and to wonder. At such times, what do you do? Number one. All right, be still. Now, be still means what? Number one, it means be calm. Be at peace. Be calm. Be at peace. Second, it means be unruffled. Be unshaken. Don't let anything under heaven cause you to lose your peace. Cause you to lose your car. Don't let anything under heaven cause you to be ruffled. Cause you to be moved. Be unruffled. Be unmoved. Third. 
Thirdly, be more moreless. Less. Be noiseless. Watch me. Number one, in stillness is insight. Be still and know when you are calm, when you are at peace, there are things you know. Times when the enemy wants you to be agitated and tensed, calm down and listen. What is he saying? <laughs> Secondly, in stillness is encounter. When we are still, Knowledge is a form of encounter. And Adam knew his wife. Adam encountered his wife. In stillness is encounter. And finally, in stillness is the manifestation of divine reality. The reality of God manifests in stillness. There is a side of God you will never know until you come down. Because it's not of him that will it or run it, but of God that showeth mercy. For everyone here seated and for everyone in this season, in this nation, be still. Watch God move. It's not over <laughs> until God says it is over. And God will never say it is over. Until his interest is secured. Until his purpose is confirmed. Since he said we should be still, we will watch for now. Hallelujah.